I like being able to take something like a straight piece of steel that has no real purpose and give it purpose, turn it into something beautiful. My name is Travis Coons and I'm a blacksmith. My dad, Keith Coons, he's a horseshoer. So I grew up on a ranch watching my dad shoe and train horses. So it just kind of was a natural decision to become a farrier myself. I that it stays straighter that way. I think when that feels really hot and you're pressing down on it, your hands. The, the thing about a horseshoe is that there's no such thing as a perfect horseshoe. I've, I've seen literally millions of horseshoes and never seen one that's perfect yet. There, there's always room for improvement in a horseshoe. I went to my first contest in 1995. I went to a contest thinking that I was probably one of the best farriers there was. And I learned, I learned that I was nowhere near that. The guys who attend these contests are the, are the best farriers there are. Their, their everyday work is to such a high standard. Um, so just being able to put my work up against theirs and, and see the comparison with my own two eyes has really, really helped me. And, and it's also helped the horses that I shoot. The ability to take a straight piece of steel and turn it into something that fits a horse's foot perfectly is a skill that's almost lost. Most farriers nowadays, they buy shoes that are made by machines that come in boxes, and they struggle just to fit those to, to each individual hoof. Before the Industrial Revolution, the blacksmith made all tools for all trades. The blacksmith was the king of the tradesmen and the craftsmen. They made the weapons, they made the, the hardware, everything. Nowadays, the blacksmith can barely fit a machine-made horseshoe to a horse's foot. So as blacksmiths and farriers, we've kind of dropped the ball in the last couple of centuries. I don't think it's lost. It's just been misplaced. There's a lot of people that, that are working toward it and have attained it. But the mass, the majority of the farriers out there have not have not sought out the art. One thing I've, I've learned from being around all these horseshoers is that they're very hardworking, honest people, and they're the guys who compete like this that are dedicated. They've dedicated themselves to a greater good than just making money. It's not just a job to them; it's a passion. And most of us know that we're in it for life, and it's going to take our entire life to get a grasp on it. It's, it's a lifelong process, and even at the end of a long career, you, you truly can't master blacksmithing or farriery. There's always something else that you can get better at. <laughs>